All these cool animated subtitles you see right now are created solely in DaVinci Resolve with the help of our plugin QuickCaps. There is no need for keyframing, fusion knowledge or CapCut exports. We include a bunch of cool templates and you can also create your own ones and save them for later. And here comes the best part, our plugin QuickCaps is completely free, so check the link in the description if you think it could be helpful for your video editing process. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the plugin. It's basically just one double click. How to use the plugin, I will also show you some extra functions we added that makes it a little bit better than, for example, snap captions, and how to use our templates and how to create your own ones. But before we start, I want to quickly introduce myself. I'm Josh, a filmmaker from Germany. I worked as a freelance for the past three years and with the help of my best friend Timo we just want to make cool video stuff and since we don't like grunt work and animating subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve or making cool subtitles was always a pain we developed this plugin and it might help you too so stick around. QuickCaps is available for macOS and Windows but it works 100% the same inside of DaVinci Resolve so go to macOS if you're a Mac user and double click this installer file double click again and you're good to go for windows head over to the windows file and just double click this exe file it will do the same before we start we also have to install some fonts for the templates so go into this fonts folder mark all double click say open and click install here at my device it says replace because I already have these fonts, but it will say install on your device. Just click install and you're good to go. And obviously do that for all these fonts. Then one step we also have to do is go to the bin section. This is very important and double click this bin. That will automatically load the templates into your project. So now I have put in a test footage and I will use that to show you how our plugin QuickCaps work. Head over to Workspace, go down to Scripts, Comp and QuickCaps and it will automatically start the plugin. But before we start with the plugin, we have to do one more step. Go here to Timeline, create subtitles from audio. And this is very important, max out this field here characters per line to 60 say create because we are using actually the default function of subtitle creation inside of DaVinci Resolve and now go to workspace scripts comp quick caps and run the plugin again and now you can choose like your folder where your designs are stored you will you can also create like own folders and with own templates I will show you that later and here you can pick your design Social Essential 1 to up to 7. We also have a bigger pack with up to, I think, 57 uh, Social Essential templates that you can buy for a fair price, but we include completely for free this plugin and 7 also very, very cool uh, templates right here. So we can choose, for example, Social Essentials 7. Let's start from the back. And now we have some extra functions we added that makes it very cool. We can say all caps, we can say all lowercase, or we can say capitalize first letter. Then punctuation, we are able to remove comma, remove periods and remove all these other things here if we don't want it in the end result. You can also click remove all punctu punctuation if you don't like punctuation at all in your subtitles. So now let's get to the real deal. We have these extra functions here. First of all, you can also remove numbers. And what really makes it better than Snap Caption, for example, still Snap Caption is a good, good tool. Don't get me wrong, try both. But what makes it really a little bit better is this word limit feature. Here we can set an exact number. Let's go for three, that works usually the best. And in the end result, in every title, there will be three words. So pretty cool feature. Then we have lines per clip. How many lines should be in every title? Let's stick with one. That's most of the time the best. So single line. We also have this one word per line feature. That's important for some special designs. I'm going to show you also a little bit later. And we also have the option to fill gaps and we can also set the numbers of frames to fill. So let's test it out. Hit generate and you see subtitles have been created works pretty well 
And if you want to switch your video to a vertical aspect ratio, for example, if you want to publish it on TikTok or Instagram, use vertical re resolution, check that box, say save, and our templates will automatically adjust in scale and position. So also pretty cool. Also in the source folder, you will find a folder named title saves. So we have included like three title saves for the most common platforms, YouTube Shorts, TikTok and Instagram. So you can just drag and drop it into your project and drag and drop this title save over your timeline. And now you will see the safe spaces where you can position your subtitles so it's so it's not gonna be overlapped by some Instagram icons uh, or descriptions or whatever. Small feature, but cool feature. I think it's useful. And yeah, that's basically how the core plugin works. And now let's talk about templates. As mentioned, we offer like a full package of 57 title templates that you can use for your subtitles. And when you download these, the folder will look like this and it will basically allow you to yeah, have a way bigger variation of title designs and title animations that you can use for your projects. So how do we install that? It's also very simple. We include obviously this fonts to install folder. Click here, mark them all, double click, say open and install. Very easy, very straightforward. Also, we include the title saves I just showed you. And then we have two files. Uh, this .drb file is the one that is important for quick apps. And this .drfx file will load automatically your designs, not only into your project, but into the DaVinci default templates that are presented right here. That is not necessary, but it's cool for the following reason. I will show you, we'll quickly run that say install and now you will see you have here a folder integrated that allows you to have a cool preview of every title of every design and that's could be pretty useful just for the sake of preview go back to the source folder and double click the .drb file and now it will automatically load these new design templates into your projects so be aware i accidentally loaded them into the title save sections. We don't want that. We always want to want this quick caps folder to be at the masters folder. So drag and drop it here. And we also want to delete this old bin that we have been used before. So quick caps doesn't get confused which bin it should search through to find the templates. So delete the first bin. If we run the plugin again, update these we will have way more templates to choose from and can randomly pick one play a little bit around with the settings click generate and titles have been generated once again with another cool template i think that looks actually cool like i mentioned we have an extra category that says one word these templates work a little bit different than normal templates i will show you that right now so if you choose these one word templates and leave everything as it is here and click generate, it will look a little bit weird. That's because these titles work a little bit different. I'm going to show you that here. Look, if I'm going to press enter, what it will do is present it after the title and change the color of it. So it's a pretty cool effect. So it basically tells like DaVinci Resolve line one has color blue, line two has color purple and so on. How do we make use of this? So what we do is check this box, increase this to five. That works most of the time well for these kind of designs and say lines to clip five. So it will match this and now hit generate. So if you play back this now, you will see it changes the color and it looks pretty cool. That's why we put this extra folder that says one word, pretty cool thing. So one thing that can be a little bit annoying is when you, let's say, open up a different project and you now want to use quick caps, you would have to go back to the folder 
and double click this .drb file again. So it will load up again into your project and then you can use these templates. That's one a little bit annoying extra step and how you can get rid of this is with the help of power bins. What are power bins? Power bins are actually folders inside of your project that work across projects. So they stay the same across projects. You can basically drag and drop that into your power bin folder. Bop. And now if I open up a totally different project, it's basically the project, uh, the introduction you just saw. Um, I see I can go to power bins and I have now these two quick apps folders because I just dragged and dropped the second one also into here. And now I can, uh, yeah, just take that and put it inside of here. And now the plugin will find that. So pretty convenient. I will get, I will go back to the other project and yeah, here I can now use that. If you don't see the power bin section, go to these three dots, click here and say show power bins. That's it. One more thing, how can you save your own templates? Let's say for example, you have this templates here, but you don't really like the color. White is boring, so you can change the color here and simply save it as a new preset. And how do you do it? Just drag and drop it into your folder and give it a new name test and when I will now run the plugin again I can choose test hit generate and all the titles will be green but keep in mind the bin in the source folder is still the same so if you want to update this bin with your new template creations then right click here say export bin and just replace it with the old one also keep in mind if you want to use like this green this cool green templates you just created or basically like your own templates um, across different projects then also updating this power bins folder is very important so yeah if i would like to update this one i would delete basically the old ones and drag and drop the new ones here and then I can use the screen templates I just made across platforms. So that's basically it. Feel free to check the link in the description. Check out Quick Caps. It's completely for free. And yeah, try it out. And we would be glad if you can give us feedback, whether you liked it or you don't like it. Please be fully honest. And yeah, that's about it. Have fun.